Ladies and gentlemen, the Nintendo Switch did so many things right, and I think they took a couple risks with it and experimented just a little bit, but it's not the Nintendo we know, right? Nintendo likes to get weird and wacky. And when looking towards the Switch 2, I think they're gonna get pretty wacky. And the reason why I think that is because today I found some patents that I think are for the Switch 2. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and break them down together. Let's go ahead and get right into it. That is right, I'm finally home in my kingdom. And technology is so crazy these days that I was able to find footage of my actual plane on the way home. Before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's just go ahead and get right into this video. So what I found was this little picture right here. And then when I started breaking down the actual patent and going like into what it actually is, a non-limiting example game system includes a main body apparatus. And the main body apparatus executes a virtual game. And a game screen is displayed on a display, blah, 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 blah. And then as you can see, it breaks down a little bit more in depth of the characters and the perspectives. And here is the position of the virtual camera, which would be the VR. So I guess this would be third person as well. So before we get into it a little bit more, I was curious, these are the inventor names. And I was like, well, why don't I look up who these people are? And then maybe I would get a little bit of a glimpse into what games these could be, right? So Yuki, I don't know if that's a full name. So I skipped over that and I went with Jun Seung, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and I typed in that with Nintendo, and it turns out they work for Platinum Games. And they are the developers of the Bayonetta series, Near Automata, I actually just finished that game, The Wonderful 101, Metal Gear Rising, and a couple other things. So then when I was looking right here at what game could have a girl and a cat, well, Bayonetta Origins is exactly that game. It's a girl with her cat. So I thought, okay, well, a Bayonetta game virtual reality that doesn't make that much sense but it turns out the patent that I looked at was only part of the patent and not only is this going to be a virtual reality game it's gonna be a musical rhythm game we can see some symbols right here I didn't play Bayonetta Origins um, but I feel like this could be a symbol from that game I don't know as you can see it has a day and night cycle and it tracks how everything is gonna work in the virtual reality but then this is where it really gets interesting you can see this is tempo and beats and rhythm. Case where tempo is 60 and 3 quarter time. And then you can see the beats. Case where tempo is 60 and 4 quarter time. Case where tempo is 120 and 3 quarter time. So now this starts getting really crazy. I've covered a couple patents so far about Nintendo and new virtual reality stuff and new virtual reality devices. And then this one seems to be people with platinum games, which worked on the Bayonetta series and some other stuff as well. But it's all coming together, like maybe a Bayonetta virtual reality musical rhythm game or something. I have no idea. I think Nintendo knows that Bayonetta is a very well-received series. Maybe it's not massive yet, but I think in time, it could be one of the main Nintendo franchises, I guess, of all time. I think it really has a lot of potential. And from the people I've talked to who have played Bayonetta Origins, they absolutely loved it and think it's a sleeper hit. And as you can see right here, we can go into it a little bit more and you can clearly see small rhythm game success flag and large rhythm game clear flag are turned off. We've established that it's virtual reality. We've established that it's clearly something to do with a rhythm game and the creator works for Platinum Games. I truly think Nintendo is gonna take a little bit more risk on the Switch 2. They have the success of the Switch to hold them over, right? They can take a couple more risk. I think they wanted to take more risk initially with the Switch, but the failure of the Wii U was still, I guess, fresh in their minds. And if you look at the first couple months of the Switch, they almost went like the motion control route for the whole console. There was a couple launch games that utilized motion controls. There was Nintendo Labo stuff. There was a bunch of stuff and it almost seemed like, well, the Wii was so successful and the Wii U wasn't. Maybe we need to go back to the motion controls, weird wacky stuff maybe just the switch took off it was a great console with some good strong games in the first year and the whole switch aspect you can take the joy cons off you can make it a home console that's all we needed we didn't need any real weird wacky gimmicks but at the base and the heart of it all i think nintendo absolutely loves to be weird and wacky and to have cool gimmicks and that's what sets them apart i would say more times than not these things fell and they don't work in the best favor of Nintendo, but it truly is what makes them stand out from the other major gaming platforms. 
So I think we really are going to see Nintendo take a big crack at virtual reality coming up this next generation. Me and myself, I could take it or leave it. I mean, virtual reality is cool. At the arcade, I do it sometimes. Uh, I don't think it's something I would like to dedicate gaming towards. It's not for me. But I do think it's something cool that should be explored. And like I previously mentioned, with the success of the Switch, I really do think we're going to see Nintendo take a couple more weird and wacky risks this next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about all this? Did you ever use VR for PlayStation or the MetaQuest or at the arcade? Or do you even care about VR? Would you like to see Nintendo take some more weird and wacky risk the next generation? I'd seriously love to hear from you guys. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could. We're growing on both platforms. I cannot thank you enough. It's really cool talking to you guys over there. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm doing a massive stream and a huge giveaway. So like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. But you know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.